Hey KT fam, I'm back with another video. I'm back with another trucking video. So yeah, um, I told you I was gonna vlog again and I'm back with another vlog. <laughs> um, no, but we are, uh, like I said from my last vlog, we are coming off of our reset. Um, <clears throat> this is not our home time. Um, I did see a comment that said, you know, make sure you get better home time from your company, this and that. Um, this is not our home time. Honestly, uh, we're supposed to reset in Orlando because, you know, wherever you end up for your reset, that's where you take it. Like, if we were in Las Vegas, um, we would reset in Las Vegas. But since Orlando is literally two and a half hours from our house, um, our company is nice enough to let us take the bobtail home and be home for that day, for that reset. Um, honestly, they are... They are that nice to where if we said like, hey, listen, we're gonna take our reset at home, but we can't be back until Wednesday, they would be like, okay, fine. You know what I mean? Like they are that nice. But um, no, honestly, we do want to keep running. We just wanted to come home for this day. And we had, we each had things that we needed to do. Um, I personally wanted to help my mom set up her a new iPhone that I got her for Mother's Day. Me and my fiance, well, she's not here right now. She's actually getting her nails taken off. But um, me and my fiance upgraded my mother to an iPhone 11. So. I had to help her set that up and everything. So I was excited to do that, especially it being the day after Mother's Day. It was close enough to Mother's Day, so. And we had given her the gift um, like a week before Mother's Day, the last time that we were home. So anyway, like I was saying, we're coming off of our reset and we already have a load. They actually told us yesterday, but um, we already have a load. It is UPS, uh, picking up in Jacksonville at, I don't know, 6.30 tonight, which, you know, it's Tuesday, um, so 6.30. This evening we'll leave here by like I would say like 11:30 at the latest, latest, because it shouldn't even be a five-hour drive. But you never know if you're gonna hit traffic and stuff. Um, so yeah, I would say 11:30 at the latest. Um, and then we're doing—it's not really a round trip. I don't know what you call this, but it has multiple stops. So we're gonna go to uh, first stop is Tennessee, second stop is Minnesota, I think, and then we're gonna drive like a 20 miles away in Minnesota as well. Um, and then the fourth stop is in Michigan and then the last stop is in Illinois so we're gonna end up in Illinois um, I don't know yet if I'm just gonna like do what I did with the last vlog and kind of vlog a little bit of each day or I don't know we'll see how it goes like I, I never really know how these vlogs are gonna end up so that's the plan that's where we're going yeah just follow me with, with this journey and see where we go and see where we go after Illinois because this whole trip is gonna take us probably like two days so we'll be done in like two days anyway. It's kind of short, so. Anyway, guys, yeah, let's get on with the video. <laughs> they say time here. She don't see her life without me. She's so blessed still. No, I don't wanna go to sleep without you. <laughs> <laughs> let's show them our rings. Oh, y'all see this? We're engaged. Do they know you're engaged? Yes, and I'll be saying my fiance. My oh, that's true. No, your tracking channel. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah? You said your fiance? Yeah. What? No title? In your video? Mm -hmm. Aww. Anybody say anything? They probably know you're engaged, I guess. Yeah, they probably, they probably yes. So, right now, we are going to pick up in Jacksonville. Yeah. You told them already? Yeah. Kind of. I told them. Jacksonville, Tennessee, Minnesota. Okay. No, I don't wanna go to sleep without you. But we just left right now. We're still like basically in the West Palm Beach area. So. Oh yeah. We just left. We just left. Yes, Period. We're getting there at five o'clock. Five? We got a little time. We got a little time. Oh, one thing I didn't tell them. No. Uh, this new truck that we got, it only goes 68 miles per hour. Oh, you haven't told them? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. We only do 68, so like, it kind of hurts the soul a little bit. But uh, when we, as soon as we get a chance, we're, we will take it to a rider. And hopefully they'll bump it up to like, at least 70. 72. <laughs> I want 72. 70 is fine, but 72. Fine, but 72, if they want to go to 74, I mean, you know. I know, right? Because, like, we're on the West Coast a lot. So, basically, like, the speed limit be at minimum 70. 80. 75. 
85. Mm -hmm. 80, 85. So. And we're not a speeder. Like, if the speed limit is like 65, we're gonna do 65. Yeah. But if it's 70, we're gonna go 70. Yeah. <laughs> Period. I don't wanna do 68. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do 70 and 85, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Only if there's traffic. Then yeah. we'll like. Nah, but the West Coast is the best coast. Hey. Best coast? West Coast is, is the best, best coast. coast. That, that's hey. a good one, baby. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Even yeah. though we're not from the West Coast. Nah, and we didn't even used to like being over there, but now, I mean, I'll take it. We just be driving, okay? Yeah, we just be chilling and driving, enjoying the road. Do you enjoy the road more than you enjoy me? Uh, but I have you and the road. <laughs> enjoy the road, guys. It looks good. The sky. Florida looks good. I know. Florida is the best state. No? I was trying to think of it. I couldn't think of it. You were trying to make a. a, a <laughs> I'm like, let me not kill the one I already came up with. I know. Right? This stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So um, I'll see you at the pickup. I'm gonna throw my GoPro on my head when I uh, hook up to the trailer. So. To all my truck drivers out there, I would like to play a special song just for you guys. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna let you watch the road while I play it because it's, it's very special to my heart. So if you guys are ready. I would like, I would like to start the song. Go ahead, babe, put it on the road. <laughs> on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Why my love is making you can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> on the road again. But I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. How you know about this song? Uh, every time I talk about we're going back on the road, he sings it to me. My grandpa. Uh, yeah. Yes. Every time he's like on the road again. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So. I'm so upset right now. So I get to UPS, um, where I'm supposed to pick up in Jacksonville. And first of all, when I get to dispatch, well, I called on the phone. For those of you guys who know, when you get to UPS, you call on the phone, whatever. The lady said, come to the dispatch office. So I get to the office, same lady's at the desk. She doesn't say anything to me. She's the only one at the desk. She doesn't say anything to me. I'm just standing there patiently, patiently waiting got music in my ear whatever she took she, she was on a call apparently i don't know she took another call after that and then finally she decided to ask me or to tell me to fill out this paper i didn't know i had to fill out a paper so that whole time i was standing there a good 10 minutes now she wants to tell me to fill out the paper so i filled out the paper i didn't have the right route code of course <laughs> so i had to call my company like this is the route code i need to start with this and that whatever so finally my company got the route code and now I'm waiting to make eye contact with the lady because she, she keeps answering calls. I understand that's her job, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm also in front of you, so don't forget that I'm there. You know what I mean? So finish your call, talk to me. Don't like answer another call. You know what I mean? So anyway, common courtesy. So she takes the paper, she doesn't say anything. She walks away and goes and talks to some guy. She comes back, she hands me the paper and she's like, here you go, you can bob tail out. Like, what do you mean I can bobtail out? She's like, yeah, you can bobtail out. I don't have a load for you. Or I don't have a trailer for you. I don't know what she said. And I was like, what do you mean you don't you don't have a load for me? I'm I'm not I'm not picking up am I picking up empty? Like I don't understand. Like, I don't know. So I was confused, trying to figure it out. I'm like, what do you mean I'm bobtailing out? Like the load is not ready? She's like, No, we don't have a load. And then this guy walks out and he was like, oh, we don't have a load for you. So, um, like we don't have any loads going I don't know whatever he explained it and he said 
so you can bobtail to your next stop so i was like oh okay so i'm supposed to bobtail to my next stop because you don't have whatever you need for me to take whatever okay thank you for explaining it it's like all she had to say was that like bobtail to your next stop all she said was bobtail out i'm like because sometimes they don't want you to stay here they'll tell you like okay go out and come back because i i got here early i got here at five o'clock and the load is not supposed to be ready until 6 30. so that's all she she had to say she she was just like here you can bobtail out like i was already irritated so of course that irritated me more but whatever i'm over it and another thing if anybody from ups um like hr is watching this or if you know anybody in hr please spread the word ups it's 2021 and you guys need to like upgrade you need to get an app make an app so drivers can check in on the app and know if their route is ready or what is going on even fedex has an app now so you can like check in and all that and obviously amazon is like top notch with the app you don't have to go into any office or anything like everything even the paperwork even the bol the bill of lading is on the app so ups y'all need to get on that shit so anyway, I need to go make a call because I told dispatch what they said and now they're telling me to call another number. So, <sighs> let me go make a call. Okay guys, um, before I start driving, well, I just came to the pilot and actually on the pilot app, I noticed they have new spicy chicken sandwiches. So I couldn't resist to get one for my fiance because she loves spicy chicken sandwiches so maybe she'll love it besides that um i spoke to the broker and well i didn't come to the pilot just for that so let's clear that up so um yeah so i spoke to the broker he was like okay after like 10 minutes of being on hold he was like yeah okay bobtail to your next stop to tennessee this and that and um so basically we are picking up a load from there um, and I asked the lady at the UPS here, I'm like, oh, was it, was I supposed to pick up an empty? Because that would make a lot more sense than them not having a load going. She couldn't confirm that. She didn't know. So anyway, the broker was like, I was supposed to pick up an empty. So yeah, it's not a big deal. I can just pop to blah, 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 which makes more sense. So um, anyway, I'm going to get going. <laughs> I hope the next one goes better because I'm over this place already. So anyway, I'm going to get going. The weather is not too pretty. It keeps raining on and off and um that's that so to tennessee we go yo truck drivers will literally park anywhere i think it's so funny you see the <laughs> they will literally park anywhere <laughs> i'm leaving the pilot right now but that is some funny shit i cannot day one finally freaking over ups tried it well, the lady annoyed me, but it's okay. So, hi. <laughs> Babe said hi. I'm about to go to sleep. My little sleep, sleep section is ready. She's not going to sleep. She's going to come bother me. She said I'm going to go bother her. She is not lying. But, anyway. To you guys, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> All right, guys, day two. I'm making my way up to dispatch right now in Tennessee. Wish me luck. Okay, right now I have to find a door to go inside to see. Oh, I think that's the door over there where the ramp is. To see if the doors on my trailer are closed before I back up into it because it's in the door. Not like these. These are not in a door. Mine is actually in a door. So my instructions were to go see if the doors are closed first. Oh lord. It's cold. <laughs> it's so cold out here. Okay, yep. That's the door. So anyway, let me go do that. Okay, the door was closed. So now I think I'm going to put the trailer down a little bit because there's some space in between there and I don't want that. So I'm going to connect to the trailer. Okay, I just checked the seal there was no seal so i had to put the seal that the guy gave me because he wasn't sure if there was one and i'm all connected i'm good to go all the lights everything you're good blah, 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 blah. so i'm good to go headed to minnesota now i'm on my own broken alone i feel the rain crashing down 
all around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare I'm gonna give you a little update while I fuel. So um, everything went fine at UPS. Um, the guy was really nice. I had to put on the seal in the back. And oh yeah, I told you guys that. So anyway, they were nice. Um, and then I had to call the broker to tell them that we got the loan and we're heading out. You know, they wanna know what percentage it is full, like 40% full and the trailer number, the seal number, all that. Um, so the broker was like, okay, so I see that it's a 14 hour drive and so you'll be there at 8 p.m i'm like i'm looking at my trucker path trucker path says 14 hours and i'm gonna get there at 8 p.m so exactly what he said but i told him i'm like i'm gonna have to take a 30. um i don't know if she's gonna have to take a 30. we have to switch at that's at least 15 minutes in between um you know you gotta count for stuff like that he's like okay but you know um they they average um like basically he's saying that they have the truck speed averaged at 58 miles per hour and if we do the speed limit uh, we should make it fine blah 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 like we should have no time and i'm like but trucker path does not average me at 58 miles per hour and it's saying 14 hours so anyway i just let it go because we already know how ups is this is why we really don't care to haul for them because they're just like they give you no time like what if i want to shower like what if i have to stop and use the bathroom It'd take like 10 minutes like god forbid you know what i mean so anyway, um, we'll be done with this load tomorrow. So one more day of this and we're done. I'm gonna fuel, um, taking my 30 and I'm gonna eat um, and get going. It's been a decent drive, honestly. One scary thing happened. Um, so I was merging onto an, another highway. Like I was on the highway, merging onto another highway and um, there was three lanes. So I noticed up ahead that there was one of those trucks that had like the arrow on the back of it. And so I automatically got into the middle lane. There was like barely anybody on the road. So I automatically got into the middle lane and, um, sorry. And um, there were two cars next to me on the far left lane. So everything was fine until the little, the little truck with the arrow decided to merge into my lane like he was stopped so obviously he was probably doing like two miles per hour getting into my lane so i had to hurry up and get over so i looked there was nobody so i'm getting over as i'm getting over the cars that were in that lane they were in front of me at this point but they were in that lane that i got over into and they slammed on their brakes because i guess they thought the truck was at that point going to come in their lane the way he was going but anyway so i had to stay on my brakes and then it was it was fucking terrible like, I felt bad. Eliante was sleeping. I, I woke her up with that shit. I was like, I'm sorry, baby. Okay? Like, fucking... It was terrible. Like, I don't know why that little truck did that. So stupid. Like, think before you do shit. Don't just... You see a truck coming. You know I'm not going slow. And then you, like... <sighs> it was irritating. But anyway, so that happened. So, I got about five and a half hours left to my drive today. Not much. I'm just going to knock it out and um, probably go to sleep. So... I'll keep you updated if anything else happens. Let me go see if the fuel is done. Not yet. Still pumping, so... Anyway, yeah. Uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, guys. Um, I'm actually laying down already. Um, I know I didn't really update you guys that much today, but there is a lot that I have to say. Um, I just wasn't in the mood, so anyway. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um tomorrow when i wake up i will update you guys on what happened today <laughs> good night hey guys so i'm just gonna talk to you like this because i didn't actually end up continuing the vlog um i got a little bit of this road footage when i think i got into michigan 
um like i said i had just had a long day the day before it was a lot of just the broker calling us for an eta like the whole day which can get really irritating um it's you know like i said it's not like we're running late it's mostly just the way that they do the time you know they calculate it so anyway this day that you see right now which is the last day of the ups load was actually a terrible day as well because there was nothing but traffic all the way through uh when i was passing through illinois yeah so i had to pass through illinois to get to michigan and then from michigan we had to go down to illinois and that was our last stop for the whole route um there was just traffic the whole day and it was just an irritating day as well so today is officially what is today <laughs> today right now as i'm speaking is officially saturday so hopefully the vlog will be up sunday morning or saturday night i don't know um we got another ups load from illinois to washington vancouver washington and then down to reno we are almost to reno we're probably an hour and a half away and then after that i'm not sure what we're gonna do but the route to washington was very nice um unlike the <laughs> unlike this current vlog now but anyway the route was really nice i didn't vlog it just because i wasn't sure how it was gonna go and i wasn't in the mood after this route so i didn't vlog it but anyway hopefully i will continue after we drop this load off in reno i will keep you updated on where we go next so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below and make sure you guys subscribe for more videos bye